Um, as somebody who started the Poetry Slam here, I just would like to send, where is, where is Michelle? Where is 1L? Where are you, 1L? Let's give it up for Ms. Bernhardt. Huh? There was, there, I just also want to appreciate all of the poets and also the slides have been incredible. I don't know if you're paying attention to them, but I love that one by Audre Lorde that says, the magic inside me is unwritten, that, or something like that. It's really incredible. Anyway, this is called Live Your Life. It's a little dark over there. There's something that's distressing me, so an effort of transparency, transparency I'm going to try to illuminate the problem as I see it. It's a problem of duality, and it's ruining our society because we have given up our ability to behave tenderly with the people we love. Instead, there's a chokehold on it, a peculiar hypocrisy of our democracy that in the name of safety is killing human connections. And thus, Rather than have our love emanate caresses from our lips into the soul of another, it shoots from our hips in the form of a text or a tweet or some trite selfie from daybreak to daybreak like a tsunami or earthquake shattering our intimacy. Because in using technology, our passion screams into the stratosphere where everyone can hear. And even if we think no one else is listening or cares, what used to be sweet private whisperings are made public. Is there still a moon to paint your face? Or has it been subsumed by the blue-green iridescence of your screen? Mined from an African landscape, helpless to, light, to, light power, to fight powerful corporations who have convinced the masses that if we just participate, if we just buy, 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 and bury the lies of necessity and environmental degradation and addiction, we won't notice or even imagine the absence of the synchronicity of our hearts beating in unison. I want to feel your energy embrace me, really, as you focus on what I'm conveying with my fingertips and my breath. I want to watch you as tenderness falls from each eyelash to my lips through the chasm of air between us and land gingerly all over you, the first snow dust of winter. And as your pupils dilate and your cheeks turn pink, I will know that what we have is true and good and human. Thank you.